Hi guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen where we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you so much for the subscribers so far. Asante Nisana. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We share very, 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 very simple meals. For the new subscribers, Asante Nisana. The returning subscribers, thank you, Mono Asantini Sana. I really do appreciate. So today I'm showing. Um, we are, we are going to have a video. I show you how I make plantains, juicy plantains. Juicy me do quickly. See, you see plantains, but we do not eat anga local. We do not eat anga plantain. Do not refer to mandis. You can't believe do not refer ingi omo when we are talking of detergents. I'm a Colgate when you are referring to toothpaste. So anyway, we are having plantain, which is mandate is ill as a shago. To let you go to Moraga to pick up. So today I'm, I'm making them in a different way. And uh, sit back, of course, relax. And uh, let's head over to our ingredients. So the only ingredient we have is this. I've already peeled my bananas and cut them horizontally. Maramoja to heavy. Dissected them quite well and so you know let dogo to let our toto to our to kupika so for the mandizi kuna watu wanaudiza uh, kuna watu who peel na zinabaki na, na black blackness black color so I was told the hack is nikuwe kwa maja chumbi lafu kuzi kuzi hara hara hivi kuzi before you wash them when they to 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 black with a knife so i have just washed them in very salty water and then drained them and zikikuwa na maji take your paper towels um uh, your kitchen towel and ujaribu uzitoe uzitoe maji uzitoe zikuwe a little bit dry because uh, in the time, in the meantime, uh, what are you passion after yangu yaku yaku deep fry ikuwe kishika moto vizuri. So this is a very simple recipe. Actually, it's a quick fix meal and it comes out so great. I'm one of the foods that I hated is mandizi plantain ama matoke, but since I learned these, I would eat them any day anytime be it for breakfast be it for dinner i would highly recommend so and if you haven't watched my other video in mefanya plantain in peanut sauce please don't miss out scroll over to the videos and watch all those videos so after ume 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 fanya hivi ume zifanya ikwe dry 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 you'll then sprinkle sprinkle in some salt because to kisha deep fry sprinkle in enough salt whereby ukisha deep fry you won't add in more salt to it but it's a very nice snack it's very 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 simple so just make homemade food to be enticing. boring. And this is one way. And that's why I'm here for you. So we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. And let's all grow together. We I shall appreciate sana 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 a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much so far for the support as sana. I don't take it for granted. Yani hata ku create two time ya ku watch hizo video zangu aki I I really do appreciate. So at the moment what I'm doing I'm sprinkle he, I'm spring I'm sprinkling I'm sprinkling some salt in my already peeled plantain and I'm sprinkling hakikizungu ngumu na the time kizungu si ndomo changu jamani so i'm sprinkling in some salt and then massage in the salt to ensure that uh, each of the 
plantain is coated with salt. So after that, after yako ikisha kuwa moto, we will then deep fry. And that is it. How cool is this? That is it. But the bananas cook really fast and actually that's why I'm saying it's a quick fix meal. Sababu he it will only take three, five minutes. Yeah, and that's it. That is it. That is it for your dinner. So tunangoja mafuta, ndo mana niko na moshe naivi, tunangoja mafuta, ikwe moto, and then we will head over to the next way process. So my oil is hot enough and to know if your oil is hot enough you just need to dip in a wooden spoon and if your oil sizzles around the cooking spoon then it means your oil is hot enough rather unaweza tu mafuta kwa pan and ukisikia imetulia bila bila mlio mmo bila kelele mingi then that oil is hot ama Unaweza chukua kama ndizi kako kama moja au kirosha dani ka 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 hivi vizuri then your oil is hot but anyway i just prefer dipping in my wooden spoon and if it sizzles around then it means my oil is hot enough so now now what i need is uh, to put in my 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 plantain in this hot oil so now, mkumbuke plantain zetu ziko na, na chumvi. And uh, the chumvi and the oil inafanya gafizoling. Sijui inafa, inababu rig up. So put little amount of it and then potea kidogo because the, the reaction of the salt and the whatever. Hmm. Let's see it. Let's see that reaction. That is what I was meaning. The salt and the mafuta tends to react in a certain way. Yenye si jui, Ade cannot explain because I do not know how to explain it. Ade do not want to understand it. And bora mumeona, you just put, be careful with it. And put a little amount of it first before adding the rest. Si una sikia your reaction. This is it. So also do not do not crowd your, your pan. I know, yes, I know, I know. Don't comment. My pan is old enough, but I love it. I'm the person who will be in a non-stick for the for the look. Me at your trauma picture. But anyway, this helps me good. And uh, don't crowd your pan. Just let it either. It takes little. Time. Little to no time at all. So, Sasa, eh, hey, Koroga, please, this is a hug. Koroga. Actually, it will just take a minute for it to be So, let me pre be preparing the, my, my place. The name is the name of the name of the name of Just line your pan with some paper towels to absorb the oil. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just lining the pan when it has yak after the shiva with some paper towels to absorb excess oil in them. And we are good to go. That is it. So at the moment, I'll just be cooking this. Na utajua zimeiva to keep float ju. Alafu they will they will kind of be crunchy on the outside. You will feel them. Ukikorogevi na kijiko, you will feel like they are kind of crunchy on the outside. But trust me, you. It will be super soft on the inside. So let them stay for a little bit for a maximum of two minutes. Ama, your instincts will tell you. Yeah. 
So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll take them out and show you. Yanza ku float this. You know they are floating up or upwards. This is how I know the neighbor. But if you're kind of the ghetto girl, the ghetto guy, uneza toa kamoja. Puriza na mudomo, weka kwa mudomo uskize kama imeiva. But to avoid the hassle, ikisha float hivi, then you're good to go. All we need to do is remove them and try to decant most of the oil. You see how nicely it has done. I hope the camera is doing it justice and if it is not, we do a mimi ni macho yako. Yani, they are nice, they are nice. We don't need them to be brownish because if they become brownish they will be so hard for your palate for your longer hands so you only need them to be crispy on the outside and very soft on the inside to enjoy this meal so this is practically it for this kind of recipe to see how nice and how simple it is so please try out tell a friend tell a friend and subscribe to this channel you are amazing god bless you see you on our next one bye bye we love you